What's going on guys? Alan here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, oh yeah, man. How you doing? Oh, you good? Oh, I know you right. like yeah. that. Enough of that. Uh, today, I am going to just start a new thing and see how it goes. But it's going to be a random vlog. Uh, I can't daily vlog because I have a normal job like most everybody out there and I don't do this for a living. So, I'm going to call it random vlogs instead of daily vlogs because it's just what it's going to be. Uh, but anyway, you know, each one will have a subject. So, as you see in today's, uh, we're going to Harbor Freight. So, Harbor Freight for me, I've got two of them right around me being in um, located in a larger town. Uh, so I'm going to the bigger Harbor Freight right now because I had to go to my dentist, get a bite splint fitted, test fitted, it's fitted to word, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so I'm out here and I'm going to head over to Plainfield Harbor Freight and just check out, see if they got anything clearance. I've been looking at the Atlas string trimmer. I've got the Lynx, I love the Lynx. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the Lynx is I have a lot of garden space and stuff in the side yard, and it's small stuff. So the, the guard on the links, um, I'll put a picture right here. But if I need to trim up to anything tight on the right side of it, it gives me a problem because of that guard being there. So the Atlas, I mean, it's a tiny, tiny guard. Um, you'll see once we get in there, but it'll allow you to get up to either side of anything really close. Uh, and, you know, I've already got a 80 volt battery, so the 80 volt will run a 40 volt at five amp hours um, versus two and a half amp hours if I were to purchase an 80 volt string trimmer, which I don't, I don't live in the country. I don't have tall, crazy grass or weeds that I need to chop down or mini trees uh, that I need an 80 volt for. And plus I need to wind up some three spools of string for the string trimmer because I'm on my last spool. Yeah, so I just keep buying spools <laughs> when I could be winding up for a lot cheaper. But anyway, rambling, rambling, rambling. We're almost there. Let's get to it. You know, here in Michigan, we have four seasons, um, being a northern state. Uh, but, let, you know, our seasons are, I don't know if they're different. You tell me. I want you guys to tell me. Um, so, you know, we have fall, which is absolutely amazing. I love it when the when the leaves change color and everything is beautiful. And then wintertime comes and it's nice at first. And, you know, you get to take the truck out four-wheel drive and have lots of fun and donuts and hit snow banks and then spring comes and you're like yeah warmer weather's coming and all this stuff and then construction oh, i hate it construction construction season yes when you should enjoy driving i don't know if you guys have this too but it's like all summer long and i can't take it can't take it hate it but I'm an impatient driver so uh, for all of you other impatient drivers you know what I'm talking about and for all you normal drivers I'm the person you probably hate but I hope not anyway yeah rant over Harbor Freight on the horizon horizon it's coming up right there I love Harbor Freight I don't know why it's not like their stuff is that good <laughs> Some of it's just junk, um, but yeah, anyway. All right, we are here, boys and girls. Well, boys, probably no girls. There we are. Let's get inside. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm talking about. This here, the guard is actually really small, so in my tight areas, I can put this through and be able to trim on both sides. My other guard, you know, comes out to here, so I don't have that luxury over here. And I just took this off, and it actually looks pretty nice. Feels good and sturdy. Um, and it 
you don't even have to take the spool out to rewind it. So it apparently, yeah, you can wind the line right on here. So I think I'm gonna grab this bad boy, 40 volt. Like I said, I already got the 80 volt battery and didn't have any batteries in stock anyway. They're all gone, so yeah. I think we're good. Okay guys, there you have it. Walked out of there with some stuff. String trimmer and line and then a screwdriver holder. But anyway, get the stuff loaded in the truck. All right, there's that, there's that. All right, let's talk about something for a second that is always funny to me. So we'll start with a story. Um, I have literally two shrubs that I need to, a hedge trimmer for. So I always did it by hand with a manual hedge trimmer, clippers or whatever you want to call them. And it was fine. And then finally it's just like, well, I borrowed my father-in-law's plug-in one and I'm like, oh, this is way easier even though I only have to do it like once a year. Um, so when the Bauer outdoor equipment came out, which is really cheap, but some people that's all they need, whatever. But I'm like, you know what? I already got the 20 volt batteries. Use the hedge trimmer once a year, I'll, I'll buy one. So I had, a, I had a good coupon to use for just the Bauer equipment. Um, I found an open box that was cheaper um, and the coupon doesn't say that you can't use it on already discounted items it just says you can't use it on parking lot sale um, or clearance which this wasn't either uh, so the manager wound up overriding the coupon and making it work because I'm like you could go buy a new one with the coupon and get it cheaper than this open box it doesn't make any sense so that story aside, I, I got the hedge trimmers. They work perfect for me for once a year. They're perfectly fine. Uh, so I checked out the clearance table in here and they have the 40 volt blower. Um, currently I use a Lynx with 480 CFM. Um, and then this has 550, the 40 volt Atlas. Oh, they had it on clearance or open box for $65. Uh, there's currently a $20 off coupon and they wouldn't let me use it that would make it 45. in this instance it's cheaper to go buy a brand new one it's 79.99 you get the 20 dollar coupon so it's 59.99 so it's cheaper to buy brand new so i'm like it doesn't make sense he's like eh, i know blah 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 so this store didn't work with me on that or else i would have walked out of here with the blower too um but anyway yeah we got it time to go on to the next destination up here in the Midwest we have Midwest Northeast Northeast I don't know we have uh, wonderful stores called Meyer you can go in there and get your groceries blah 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 need a couple things so that's where I'm off to next hey guys check it out real Raptor fake real fake real Raptor no so I hate it when people call it a fake raptor because that's not what it's supposed to be i just really like the grill um so no i was not trying to get the raptor look so here's what's funny about this guys i went in for cat food they didn't have it they didn't have indoor cat chow what the uh, anyway okay so then i walked out with this how does that make sense you go in for one thing you walk out with two liters of pop random lunch meat and cheese one sprite two sprites three sprites why because they're buy two get one free that's how they get you to buy crap and apparently there's a shortage on aluminum cans because of covid and people not returning cans whatever i don't know if that's true or not and i keep stocking up on toilet paper duh so yeah going in for one thing and then not having it coming out with 50 other things makes sense right yeah so here's what's nice about daily in the f-150 okay it's 86 degrees i got the ventilated seats they're not air conditioned seats they're ventilated ask for um it's just yeah you know the beamer 
put the top down, yeah. But if the sun's out like it is today, man, it's hot, 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 hot. F-150. You know what, forget the air. I didn't pay a bunch of money for this truck for nothing, right? Open. Open more. Windows down. Oh yeah. F-150 life, baby. Panoramic roof life. Probably can't hear me now. And just like that, we're back home. 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 Can't even really see it. Home. There we go. Home. All right, guys. So here's the scoop with the phone, cell phone holder. Besides the Z3, I don't have anywhere to put it. That. There. That's about it. And it doesn't really fit. You know what I mean? You can lay it there. You hit the gas, it flies out. Um, I've been keeping it like this. That's not too bad, but I want it somewhere else. You know, somewhere. So, how about this? And I know everybody's gonna say, oh, I'll get a magnetic one. Cause they're like all magnetic, but here's the problem. My USB-C doesn't work anymore. So I wirelessly charge this. And if I put a magnet on the back, the charge will not go through it. Trust me, I've done it. So, let's see how this one goes. Cause, oh yeah, if you didn't know, I bought this at Meyer just now. I guess I'm talking to you like you already knew. But I already knew, so that's all that matters, right? No. Okay. All right. This thing here is supposed to be able to suck the cup to a dashboard too. I guess we'll see. And then, you know, it's got the... So put it on, put it together, and then you can rotate this whatever way you want. Uh, so let's see if we can find a spot in the car for it. So I'm having a pretty hard time deciding. Um, if I put this on the windshield, it's just too far out because of the way the Roadster windshield is. Um, I'd like it there but I don't because it's in my, this is directly my line of vision right here. And you can see, I don't want to stare at a phone, um, but there's not a lot of flat surfaces in this car to work with. So my only other option that I see, turn it 90 degrees and then there's a flat spot over here. So I could put it like that. Um, kind of think I'm going to do that. I, you know, it's not like I really need to follow navigation. I don't really need it up here. And yeah, I could put it sideways. I just don't like it up there. I don't know. It's just stupid. I wonder how many people have clicked off by now. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. So, yeah. With that being said, take the phone out. And always always use rubbing alcohol isopropyl alcohol to clean off the section to get the best stick possible because anything else will hinder it and if you thought we were opening that today don't wait around that's going to be a separate video okay so i want this guy right there um, so if you use the windshield mount, there's a clear protector on here, but we're not going to use that. Push it on nice and snug. Suction cups locked in. And that should be money. There. Done. And this thing, this, this is the vent clip. <gasps> no. All right, I just put it on there again. We'll see if it stays. I'll check back on it in a little bit or else I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I could always shove a screw through there, but why? It's supposed to work. See, I'm pulling on it and it's staying on there. I don't know, whatever. 
All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Unfortunately, I have to go to work. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Until we meet again. Later.